here we have a bunch of plants that are ready to go into the ground next next year in the fall of next year so we have grafted fruit trees some of them are double grafted plum pear apple and some of them are single grafted double grafted means two different kinds of varieties on the same plant for example granny smith which is green and mother which is red i want to have that for sale on mother's day granny smith and mother green and red um, i think when they're flowering or fruiting would be a good time to sell then we have a lot of natives right here's the natives they're in the wind tunnel that comes through the pergola and goes on the other side of the house and they're in the wind tunnel sort of in that direction there because because they're strong and they can take it the natives are the most adaptive resilient plants in the country they know their soil they know their temperatures problems they know all the situation how to manage it here's the gimelist it's a rare Plant. It's a hybrid sort of a thing. No, it's not a hybrid. It's a it's a variety that's derived from I think it's Japanese and Russian and Canadian um, Berry up to forest berry. So it's quite used to cold temperatures and it, it does pretty well here um, What else do we have the support trees are a big one that's there, the lucernes. The lucernes are the ones that give all this amazing amount of nitrogen. And to, off, to uh, the native equivalent, there's a few, but the main one is coffee. Coffee is also a legume. And here's our avocados. They're in the mix as well. There's a loquat. I think you've had loquats before. They're sort of subtropical, I think. Got a few subtropical plants. Here's a, oh, it's gonna live. Yes, great. I'm not sure. I can't be 100% sure, but that's a, um, that's a tropical guava. And it shouldn't actually be here, but they do. They do grow um, once you get them woody and established and, and a canopy over them. And they shouldn't have actually minus degrees, but they can take a short period of minus degrees. This year, what happened is we went into a, a fake summer at the late winter, and then it hit really hard frost for a week or two. And I think it hit back and forth twice. So it really, sh um, I mean, these guys were shooting new sprouts, new leaves at the time. So it was really unfair to those poor guys on their first year of managing the, uh, the winter, maybe second year. Um, yeah, that's a pear. One of the best fruits that I like is the Asian pears. They're extremely sweet. One of the sweetest ones is right here on the top here, this one. It's grafted, grafted right here. If you can see that graft right there, that's the, that's the cut, and it's grafted here again, too. This one needs to have an interstock. The interstock is that part in the middle. It can't graft directly onto a Keens plant, but if I graft it onto a, a Burr Hardy type of pear, and then graft onto the Asian pear, it works because that's called an interstock. That means that um, it can grow on that rootstock. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to. Uh, okay, so that's the a little bit of a science that I know. And this here's the here's the seedling. This is a plum seedling, straight plum seedling. The advantage of plum seedling, they grow or plum, pear, apple, any seedling, they grow bigger and they live a lot longer. The disadvantage, it takes longer to fruit, and you don't know what the taste is going to be. It's a surprise, like all of us. If we're natural born, we're always a surprise. <laughs> and there's good and bad to that, but we're also very resilient. If we were to be cloned, uh, we would, um, I guess we would live shorter. Well, if you, if you adapt the plant world to the human world, we would uh, live 
if we would be grafted. Frankenstein is a graft. Frankenstein was a true a graft. That would that would be like a grafted fruit. Okay, I'm a little bit off topic now, but I hope you had a good review of what's going on over here.